Okay class, let's do some work on chapter two exam questions. And this is called quadratics, I believe. Now, we have k x squared plus 12x plus k equals zero, where k is a positive constant and has equal roots. Find the value of k. When we see equal roots in a question or roots, or we use something called a discriminant, and that's an important skill to remember. And that is b squared minus 4ac equals 0 when it has equal roots. So a equals k, b equals 12 here, and c equals k. So let's just substitute that in. We're going to get 12 squared minus 4 times k times k equals 0, which is going to give us 144 minus 4k squared equals zero. So we know by plusing 4k squared on each side we're going to get 4k squared equals 144. Now just trying this the discriminant actually gets you a method mark. Doing this probably gives you an answer mark. Now we're going to get k squared divided out through by 4 is going to be 36 so k equals plus or minus 6 we can't leave the answer like that because we need the question k is a positive constant so k positive constant so k has to equal 6 that's your a1 and you'll probably get a method mark for trying to solve for k easy for out of 4 there and this is normally a part skill in a larger question Find the values of the constant a, b, and c. It's completing the square. So how do we do this? Okay, so what we do here is we factorise the 4 out. Put the x squared. And we just factorise this term here that I've highlighted. Plus 2x plus 3. We're good at completing the square here, so the 4 stays the same. That's going to be x plus 1, all squared, and we've got to minus the 1. And it's a, that's going to be in a bracket, because this is a part of this section here, and plus 3 on the outside. So we expand this out, we're going to get 4, x plus 1 squared, minus 4 plus 3 and then we're going to finish off nicely with 4x plus 1 squared minus 1 so a equals 4 b equals 1 and c equals minus 1 that's quite easily done sketch the curve of the equation above showing clearly the coordinates of any points where the curve crosses the corner axis so let's just draw this from this, when x equals 0, y equals 3, so that's the y-intercept. Now, the minimum point is when x equals minus 1. And once that turns to 0, that means the y corner is minus 1, so minus 1, minus 1 and to solutions so the solutions or the x, where it crosses the x axis is when we solve this so 1 equals 4x plus 1 squared divide throughout by 4 result Let's square root both sides. So we're now going to get x plus 1 is going to equal plus or minus 1 over 2. So x is going to equal, once we minus the 1 on both sides, is going to be minus 1 plus or minus a half. So x is minus 1.5 and minus 0 0.5 when y equals 0 so let's just draw that that will do just mark that's 3 
uh, that's minus 0.5 uh, minus 1.5 and this bit here is minus 1 minus 1 and that will get you all your four marks we know it's u-shaped because it's a positive quadratic and uh, it's easily done once you have all the skills wonderful so the roots mean solution so that's when this all equals zero so factors of minus eight to add together to get minus two so it's got to be minus four and plus two so that is x plus two x minus four equals zero so x equals minus two and x equals four right do pause this video and read the question and replay it once you read the question once or twice so starting with this figure a we've got to work out this graph based on the information what's the key bits we have we've got 40 meters from where it was kicked so this must be 40 and the maximum height is 12 what we know is is because this is this shape that's got to be a negative type quadratic equation so we can start off with writing h equals x minus 40 because x is a solution it starts at zero so we know x here could be a solution but there could be a constant in front of this so we should just write a or any other letter that should make sense from there now how do we find a well we've got this key bit of information all questions give you key information so at height 12 if we understand quadratics and the symmetry of it that must be the halfway point so when h equals 12 x equals 20 so we can substitute this in so 12 equals a or 20a 20 minus 40 so that's going to give us 12 equals 20a times minus 20 which is going to give us 12 equals minus 400a so a is going to equal minus 3 over 100 once you divide that through right so that's wonderful so we can now write h equals minus 3 over 100 x over x minus 40 which now makes this if we times this by this it will give us a negative x squared which now make gives us that shape i suppose another way you could have written this is h equals to start off with ax equals 40 minus x now if you see we substitute 12 and 20 here you get 40 minus 20 and so that's an a sorry that would be 400a equals 12 and you get a equals 3 over 100 and the equation will just be 3 over 100 x 40 minus x and that would still work because the x times the minus x will give you the minus x squared so that still works now let's do part b you see the ball passes over the horizontal bar or a set of rugby posts that is perpendicular to the path of the ball the bar is three meters above the ground so what it's saying is imagine there's a bar here or this is going to do it like that so that's the rugby grow goal that's going to be at three meters 
Use the equation to find the greatest horizontal distance to the bar from O. So we just set H equal to 3. So we're going to depend on what formula we use. I'm going to use this one I've written here. So 3 equals, and it'll work with either either because they're the same thing. 3 over 100x 40 minus x. Now if we expand that all out, we're going to get 3 equals 40 over 100x times the 3 there, minus 3 over 100x squared. Let's times out by 100, so we're going to get 300 equals 120x minus 3x squared. Um, let's rearrange that to 3x squared minus 120x minus 300 equals 0. Now can you see we can divide all this out by 3 to make it easier for us to leave us with x squared minus 40x plus 100 equals 0. So we just need to solve that. Use the quadratic formula. Do show you you're working for the quadratic formula. I'm running out of space because the working out is going to be worth a mark. And then you're going to get x equals 20 plus or minus root 300. Now, 20 minus root 300 can't be the right answer. It's got to be the furthest one away. 20 minus root 300 is going to give you this bit here, right? That should make sense. So you've got to choose x equals 20 plus root 300. And if you put the answer down to one decimal place, that would be 37.3 meters away. And then you've done that question. That seems really challenging, but this is a, a part of the quadratic skill. And I hope that makes sense to you. Do give this video a try. Go back and make sure you can do it on your own without any guidance. Remember, you could have paused this at any point. And I hope this helps. Right, remember to pause the video at any point. You've got this equation where P is a non-zero constant. It has equal roots, find the value of p, so we can use the discriminant. Okay, so that's b squared minus 4ac equals 0. a equals 1. b, be careful now, it has equal 3p. And c equals p. So we're going to get 3p squared minus 4 times 1 times p which equals 0. Now, the most common mistake people make is say this is 3p squared, but we have to square the 3. So you can get 9p squared minus 4p equals 0. Right, there's p in both terms. So we can just factorise p out. And have 9p minus 4 equals 0. So we've got p equals 0. But it can't be because it's um, non zero constant. So it's not this one. And then we're going to have 9p minus 4 equals 0. And we just solve for that, which is going to be 9p equals 4 and p equals 4 over 9. That's going to be our answer. Let's look at question 3 carefully. Do read it. Pause the video and have a read. Now this question here is going to really apply your fi uh, thinking skills. Figure 2 shows entrance to a road tunnel. This is the road tunnel. The maximum height of the tunnel is measured as 5 metres. So doing this as a graph, that's 5. And the width of the, of the base of the tunnel is measured as 6. So that's given us in the measurements here. But, but if we model this as a quadratic graph, if the width is 6, that's the centre, 
and the symmetry of graph, we know that's 3 and that's minus 3. So creating an equation, we know we've got y equals, the solution must be x plus 3 and 3, so that gives us the x equals minus 3 and 3 minus x because the solution is 3. Now we have to do it this way because it's a negative quadratic this graph isn't it? So we're going to have a minus x squared. Now the height is 5 but we need to have a constant here. We don't know what we're going to get. That's our step 1. So what do we know? When y equals 5, x equals 0 right? When y equals 5, x equals 0. So, what are we going to get? We're going to get 5 equals a times 3 times 3. So, 5 is going to equal 9a. So, a is going to equal 5 over 9. Oh, and I think we've done. So, y equals 5 over 9. x plus 3 x minus 3 and yeah, so this bit we know a solution must be x equals 3 x equals minus 3 and we just make that into a quadratic here and that one's done but that will throw people off because application of skills is a lot more challenging now, this is saying a coach has height 4.1 meters and width 2.4 determine whether or not it is possible to, for the coach to fit through the tunnel right so the coach let's just draw the coach from front view that's the coach right so be careful here so if the coach is 2.4 meters we don't use x equals 2.4 so we don't do that because what we want is x here and x here so that's going to be 1.2 and 1.2 so we're going to divide the width of the coach in half so we're going to use x equals 2.4 over 2 which is 1.2 into our y equals 5 over 9 9 minus 1.2 squared And that equals 4.2 and so that's the height so that means the height of the of the tunnel at x equals 1.2 here or minus 1.2 here because the whole coach is 2.4 is going to be so the coach fits in oh that's not good let's do that point here and here so you're going to see that that is going to have a height of 4.2 for those values so the coach will fit because the coach has a height of 4.1 so 4.2 is greater than 4.1 so the coach can enter the tunnel hopefully that makes sense so all this means is when x equals 1.2 the height of the tunnel is 4.2 at this point right so that's the height of the tunnel but the coach is 4.1 meters so it will fit through but it will be a tight fit so, like I always say, pause the video, bring it back to the beginning, make sure you can ace all these questions. Believe it or not, students make mistakes on question two quite a lot, and they, because in a hurry you do forget to square the three. Hope this all helps.